Hi beauties, our topic today is, is there such a thing as healthy sugar? And this is an interesting question because we all hear about the detrimental, harmful effects of sugar on our bodies, on our health, on inflammation, so on and so forth. But does that mean that we should not have any sort of sugar in our diet? Is that really the best way? So let's get right into it. Um, of course, we've all heard about white sugar and processed sugar. The average American right now consumes about 20 teaspoons of sugar a day. And we know there's a billion studies we can link to below in the transcript, but we know that excess sugar um, really exacerbates inflammation. It can lead to uh, raised blood pressure. Over a 15-year study, uh, those that had a lot of 21% um, of their calories coming from sugar had a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. I mean, it goes on and on. Sugar is implicated with weight gain. Um, tooth decay, uh, wrinkles wise. Um, this was research from my second book, Beauty Detox Foods. We know that the more sugar that you have, your collagen tends to break down faster. So your skin will start to uh, wrinkle and not look as healthy and as vibrant. So that being said, we all understand, you know, sugar in its refined forms and its processed forms is definitely something that we want to work to avoid. Now, there is um, another category of sugar that I think is really interesting, which is artificial sweeteners. And these are um, these have been implicated in more research for even though they have zero calories, it goes back to not just focusing on numbers, zero calories doesn't mean it's good for you. And there is research um, studies specifically from the Canadian Medical Association found that artificial sweeteners have been linked to weight gain, heart disease, and other issues. And they actually have been found to encourage sugar cravings and dependency on sugar. So the answer isn't just to, you know, go to Starbucks and put a bunch of sucralose in your coffee because you're avoiding the white sugar. The issue is looking at it um, a, through a little bit of a different lens where we don't want to have processed sugar, which does include artificial sugar as well. Now, there is another category of sugar, which we can call natural sugar. And this is a type of sugar which comes from fruit sugar, for instance, by eating natural fruits. Um, this is the type of uh, sugar which comes from, uh, let's say, eating uh, um, uh, organic, unrefined, gluten-free grains. And this is the type of sugar that I believe is um, an important part of our diet. Not that we're focusing on the sugar, but we're focusing on the overall quality of these foods. Now, our natural diet, if we were to go into the jungle, if we look at you know biomimicry, which is looking at similar species in nature and what they're eating, naturally, you know, and I have had the privilege of going to Rwanda and looking at the gorillas, we are meant to eat fruit. And it always freaks me out a little bit when people come into the Saluna juice bar, uh, which is now in the Four Seasons at Beverly Hills, and people are like, no, no, no banana, no sugar for me, and then they'll have triple the protein powder. I believe a healthy body can and should be able to handle healthy, natural food, and that very much does include fruit. So I'm a big proponent of eating fruit um, of all kinds, you know, depending on your body type, after you help to balance your candida. So for me, I had really bad candida, so I had to cut sugar, including fruit, for almost a year. I had a very extreme case. Some people it's only a few months. If you're interested in candida, check out the Beauty Detox Solution. But now, fruit is a big part of my daily diet. Fruit is full of minerals and vitamins and fiber, and it cleanses your system. So when you look at the overall, the antioxidants, when you look at the overall benefit of fruit, um, to me, it's like a no-brainer. We want this beauty food in our diet. And it's the same thing with grains. Now, everybody's body processes different foods differently. So there may be certain foods that don't work for you, some that work better. But again, if you look at the blue zones, if you look at all these healthy cultures around the world, from the Okinawans to the blue zone and the Nosara coast of Costa Rica, they all eat uh, grains and beans and uh, you know they do soak and sprout traditionally in these cultures to help remove lectins um, and some other qualities things that we talk about here in Saluna Beauty Detox but I don't think if our overall diet is balanced we need to hyper focus on removing all sugar there is one of the six 
key tastes in Ayurvedic medicine to create balance is called Madura. It is sweet. And Ayurvedic medicine teaches us that we need some sweetness to balance all our, our, our doshas and the way that we feel in our body. And there's a very phys physiological um, truth to that. So I could go on and on, but the point is, as we were to sum up this blog, is not all sugar is created equal. I do not think that we need to cut out all sugar in order to be our healthiest and best. I think we need to discern, get rid of all the processed stuff, you know, replace, upgrade, get your body in balance, take your SBO probiotics, you know, get your gut in check, and then don't be scared of eating fruit, especially in the glowing green smoothie, especially when well combined, especially on an empty stomach, and you will start to feel and look your most beautiful and amazing. So thank you so much beauties for tuning in. I love you lots, and I will see you back here soon.